Look around and you will see that the world as we know today is built by engineers. They have maintained a delicate balance of human health, comfort and concerns for the environment. Since 1871, the Institution of Engineering and Technology, the IET, has been championing engineering to solve challenges that matter, solutions that drive innovation in our deeply connected world. We have been breaking myths and barriers, showing how engineers create new technologies, spearhead achievements, and help societies flourish. Earlier in my presidential year, we launched our 2030 strategy, which outlines where we want our institution to be in a decade's time. Now, I'm really passionate about our vision, working to engineer a better world, and over the next few years, we'll be pushing our priorities to inspire, inform, and influence on a global stage even further. IET is 1.50, a time to reflect, a time to strategize, a time to definitely celebrate. It is a wonderful time to be a technologist, an engineer, and in India. In India, there is a strong focus on recognizing and developing world-class engineers. Our team in India work incredibly hard to ensure that we are at the very forefront of engineering talent and act as a thought leader and innovator. IET has had members in India for over 100 years. We have provided a platform to engineers who work at the forefront of technologies. The IET 2030 strategy, which focuses on five key societal challenges, which are sustainability and climate change, digital futures, healthy lives, productive manufacturing, and people-centric infrastructure. And in IET India, as part of the 2030 strategy, we will be focusing on trying to solve the societal challenges identified by the IET via the strategic themes that the IIT is pursuing. Our members, volunteers and colleagues in India are so important to us. Our vision is to become the most relevant and therefore the most preferred institution for engineering and technology professionals in India. And we're doing just that. Our challenge is to create at least 10 to 15 million jobs. Now, this can only happen if we focus on quality and productivity using the modern principles of engineering. That is where I believe that engineering will be extremely important for India in the next 30 to 50 years. Engineers carry the bulk of Indian engineering on their shoulders and take it to new heights and to new planets like Mangalyaan or the Mars Orbiter mission, which has made India the first Asian country to send a space probe to the Martian orbit. That put together new systems, bold design and a sustainable mission. The Mars mission showed that the story of Indian engineering is a story of turning theory into practice, of engineers rising to the occasion of leading India's high impact transformation. I would like to mention with great pride, the example in engineering of our work being done at the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, which has shown the entire world how it is a, how to accomplish extremely challenging missions like Mangalyaan, which has been completed at a fraction of the cost and at excellent levels of quality. A host of engineers and scientists have worked there. Opportunities are abounding there. And we are very, very proud of the work done by these heroes of the country. But there are other stories you might not have heard before. The story of how Tata Consultancy Services, TCS, led by talented engineers, created a brand new industry. India is now a global leader in IT services, digital and business solutions. Or Bosch India, who's invented for life ethos, transformed how India moves. Bosch's strong R&D allows engineers to lead product development with an eye on the future. Indian engineers are at the helm of innovation at global business powerhouses. General Electric's only R&D lab outside the United States is the John F. Welch Technology Center in Bengaluru.
It strengthens India's reputation as an R&D capital of the world with over a thousand R&D centers. Here, Indian engineers are a sight to behold. They hold the future in the palm of their hands. They create the future of mechanics and design, robotics and autonomous systems, biology and applied physics. They solve some of the world's toughest problems. Indian engineering is not just hand and mind. It's also heart. It has social commitment, a desire to power the digital economy to financial innovations like the UPI. To connect millions to Aadhaar and to now make immunization and healthcare accessible through COVID. The story of Indian interest with engineering, innovation and technology go way back. To name a few you have heard, to the Indus Valley Civilization which was marked by highly sophisticated and advanced production technology. From casting to smelting, alloy metallurgy was well established. To the Chola dynasty of Tamil Nadu, where royal patronage helped build exquisite bronze sculptures. Created through the lost wax technique, the bronzes show such accuracy in detail and grandeur that even an X-ray can't catch a single blemish. Indian scientists have often looked to the skies. But long before Mangalyaan, mathematician Aryabhatta was hard at work. In the 5th century, he wrote his magnum opus Aryabhatiya that presented ideas that became foundational to modern astronomy and mathematics and to life as you and I know today. The tough, resilient Damascus steel you're familiar with was also produced in India and not Damascus. So hard and flexible, it could cleave a free-falling silk scarf or a block of wood with the same ease. This high-quality Indian steel found another legendary use in Tipu Sultan's rockets. It allowed Tipu's armies to use more gunpowder in their rockets than would be possible with low-quality steel. The Indian rocket technology developed what is known as the Congreve rockets. The Indian story of innovation and enterprise continued to be fortified with steel as Tata Steel produced 70% of the steel in India and helped raise an entire nation. Indian engineers have been pioneers, thinkers, visionaries and doers. And now they must look towards the future. We've dedicated the past year as we celebrate our 150th anniversary to inspiring the younger generation. We've also been showing them how engineers will be the ones to solve the biggest problems facing our planet today and in the future. In fact, our anniversary has been about sharing the amazing stories of so many incredible difference makers around the world and how engineering and technology touch our lives in different and often unexpected ways. Research has shown us that caregiver involvement at home is one of the most crucial factors in a child's learning. However, low-income parents in India often lack what we call AIM, the awareness, information and motivation to help their children with foundational learning. Rocket Learning Solution is technology and community-enabled behaviour change, creating the social incentives and behavioural nudges to really engage parent communities. Workplace has asked accounts for 160 million victims and 2.7 million deaths annually. At Frings, we analyze the live video stream of these industries through on-premises artificial intelligence technology for proactive monitoring. Data suggests that more than 75% of viewers drop off within the first minute itself. On top of this, creators are helpless. They have no way to meaningfully move the needle on engagement as there is no efficient feedback mechanism. Plyo enables you to make your YouTube videos interactive by adding questions between the video. Ability to run AI on the edge in real time at low power in unreliable networks is an evolving need and it's actually quite an interesting useful need. At Mylan, we are placed at the trifecta of 5G, AI and compute on the edge. Our IP and our expertise in our team has allowed us to deliver immense value and transform business outcomes for our customers in the industrial, automotive and video domains. We are very proud to be a deep tech company out of India 
with a global outlook. In India, more than 118 million farmers struggle to earn a fair price for their produce. At the heart of this problem is the information and connection gap that the farmers face. Grammar solves this problem by creating a hyper-local information and network platform. Simply put, we are the OLX of farmers. India's strong intellectual capital and innovation ecosystem is the country's tailwind propelling the ship into the future. The Indian engineering ecosystem is collaborative, where global industry leaders and small startups all have their voice. This is matched by India's youthfulness and vitality, with more than half the country's population under the age of 25. Indian engineers are leading the world into the future. They're technology focused, but not oblivious to the questions of sustainability, equity, diversity and empathy. Indian enterprises are now breaking new ground with opportunities soaring over 100 billion US dollars each in energy, healthcare, mobility, retail, agriculture. IET has added enormous value to this planet, to this world, during the last 150 years in so way, hitherto unsolved problems, and in improving human comfort and productivity. The members of IIT have worked together as teams across the globe in a seamless manner to bring unimagined comfort and productivity to our society. I wish IIT the best of everything for the next 150 years. As we grow from here, how can we make that growth inclusive? How can we make that growth equitable? And how can we make that growth sustainable? Are challenges that Indian engineers uh, should uh, think about. Also, the challenges uh, that confront us on climate change, uh, planning for a hydrogen economy, planning for carbon capture and storage, uh, planning for an economy uh, powered by renewables. Again, these are areas where Indian engineers can play a wonderful role and I certainly look forward uh, to Indian engineers really shaping the future of the country and creating growth which is more carbon efficient and more resource efficient. This is a great occasion, a historic occasion, the 150th anniversary of this wonderful prestigious institution. And I have had the great good fortune to be involved with IET India for several years now and to witness the way it's evolving and blossoming and contributing to engineering fields in India in every way. I am confident that on this 50, 150th anniversary, this prestigious institution will grow from strength to strength and will have hundreds of years of more service to the globe, to the entire engineering community of the globe. 150 years ago, a group of passionate engineers started off what is now the IET. I wish the IET all the very best in continuing to deliver on its mission of inspiring, informing and influencing the global engineering community. 150 years of bringing engineers together, staying relevant to them is a significant achievement and I would like to congratulate the IET for achieving this milestone. India and IET India is the place to be. The place where people, ideas and innovation meet to realize the full opportunities of today's competitive and rapidly changing digital ecosystem. And after 150 years, we are just getting started.